Pulse plasma nitriding is a thermochemical diffusion process where nitrogen is stored in the outer layers and, at the same time, reacts with the base material and its alloy components. A pulse plasma nitriding plant consists of the following components. A vacuum chamber with heating and thermal insulation to hold the workpieces. A pump unit to produce and maintain a vacuum. A pulse plasma generator to generate a plasma. A control unit to monitor and control the process. A gas supply to generate the process gas mixture. Electrically insulated from the housing, the workpieces are placed on a workload fixing. The vacuum chamber is closed and evacuated to a pressure of about several pascal. The outside auxiliary heating of the vacuum chamber is switched on in order to quickly reach the necessary operating temperature. Fans attached to the vessel inject cold air into the cavity between chamber wall and thermal insulation depending on the measured temperature differences within the charging levels, as a result ensuring even heating up of all levels. Once the preset operating pressure is reached, the reaction gas, a nitrogen-hydrogen gas mixture, is introduced into the vacuum chamber. A DC voltage of several hundred volts is then applied between charge and vessel wall in order to ionize the process gas in the chamber and render it conductive. The resulting intense glow discharge is characterized by luminous effects depending on the type of gas used. The generated glow discharge plasma consists of ions with either positive or negative charge of electrons, atoms and neutral gas particles. After sufficient cooling down, the chamber is completely ventilated and opened. The parts are extracted and subsequently nitriding results are verified. Plateg GmbH builds pulse plasma nitriding units in a mono and tandem version with either one or two vacuum chambers. The tandem version is a more economical solution when larger workpiece quantities need to be treated, since with one control unit, one vacuum pump stand and one gas supply unit, two chambers can be served successively. During the cooling phase, after a pulse plasma nitriding treatment in one vacuum chamber, the second completely prepared chamber can already be heated up, resulting in a considerable savings potential regarding necessary cycle times depending on duration of treatment. Specific advantages of the plasma treatment include no environmental and safety problems since no harmful polluting nitriding substances are used or generated, outstanding accuracy to size so that usually reworking of the parts is not required. Steels and stainless steels containing chromium can be nitrided without previous depassivation. Sintered steels with a certain porosity are particularly suited for plasma nitriding. If required, workpiece temperature can be kept very low to treat low annealed cold work steels and reduce risk of distortion. Here you see a tandem nitriding plant with integrated lifting mechanism for the bell type chambers. Any number of programs for different plasma nitriding treatments can be stored in the unit's automatic process control. Here is a monoplasma nitriding unit, in the standard version already designed for later upgrading to a tandem unit. This image shows a compact nitriding unit. However, in this case, upgrading to a tandem unit is limited. Looking through the viewport into the chamber during the process, you can observe the glow discharge, characterized by luminous effects differing depending on gas type used. The area directly above the workpiece surface, marked by particularly intense luminous effects, is called the glow seam. Before delivery of the units to our customers, all components are carefully checked, submitted to field tests and commissioned to ensure safety and trouble-free operation right from the start. Here are some examples of nitrided workpieces. A hydroforming tool made from cold work steel for the production of steel tubes. Objective of the treatment, to increase wear protection of the tube section when placed and formed inside the tool. Operating cams for printing machines. Objective of the treatment, improve wear protection for toothing and guide slots. 
parts of a gear motor unit for the solar sail of a satellite made of high alloyed stainless steel. Objective of the treatment, improve wear protection through increase in hardness. Crankshaft of a high speed engine. Objective of the treatment, achieve high surface hardness for a longer service life. Bearing guide rings made from titanium. Objective of the treatment, improve abrasion resistance. Plasma oxidizing. Subsequent to pulse plasma nitriding of regular construction and heat treated steels, a plasma oxidizing treatment can be performed. This oxidizing treatment results in improved corrosion resistance of the workpiece surface. From a physical viewpoint, during plasma oxidizing, the same processes occur as in plasma nitriding. Only that here, different process gases are used and process parameters are adapted. Subsequent to nitriding, the oxidizing process takes between 30 and 60 minutes without the need to interrupt the overall treatment process. Oxide layers on structural steel elements have become more and more important in many technology sectors, given that they offer outstanding corrosion protection, they improve wear resistance with their enhanced anti-fictional properties, the dark grey to black colour enhances visual appearance of the elements. Ball joints, after a salt spray test, one oxidised, the other without oxidising treatment of ball tool holder made from heat treated steel, nitrided and oxidised to improve abrasion and corrosion resistance.